Welcome to TVI Tips from Amanda. This video is really intended for sighted adults who are either paraprofessionals or maybe teachers or parents who are working with braille learners and braille readers and want to know, know some strategies for learning how to visually access and know by recognizing visually the first 13 letters of the alphabet letters A through M. So Basically, if you have learned the letters A through J, the first 10 letters of the alphabet, you can learn the rest of the alphabet with the exception of the letter W. Braille was created in France and they didn't have the letter W in their alphabet, so W doesn't follow the pattern. But if you know letters A through J, then the next 10 letters are this, the same letters A through J, but with a dot five. And then the next 10 letters minus W are gonna be the same letters A through J with dots and five and six at the bottom. Uh, this strategy didn't work for me when I was learning Braille, and I've noticed it doesn't work very often for adults that I've been working with who are also uh, wanting to learn Braille. So I've come up with some other things that have worked for my dual media students who are learning both print and Braille. They have some vision. It's uh, There are some tips that I've heard from other adults who know Braille visually, and I just want to share them with you. But really, the best way to learn Braille and to recognize those letters visually um, or tactilely by reading and feeling the shapes with your fingers is to practice often. So perhaps after this video, you can take some words and try to create them in Braille. And then maybe tomorrow you go back and take the Braille and transcribe them into print and just continually go back and forth. Uh, it takes a lot of practice. It's a use it or lose it thing Braille is because you have all these six dots and they can, can be they can be configured in a lot of different ways to make mean different things. So let's just talk about the alphabet. So we have the letter A, it's the easiest letter. It's the first letter of the alphabet and it's a dot one. A is always super easy. B is dots one and two, it goes up and down. C uh, goes side to side, it's dots one and four. So typically people hear A is one, B is one and two, so they think C is gonna be one, two, three, but that is not correct. Uh, Braille doesn't follow the, any sort of logic like that. It's just literally about a pattern. So we have C going side to side. That s sound is sometimes a clue for some of my Braille learners. Um, side to side is C. D uh, is dots one, four, and five. It is what I call a corner letter. To the, sh the shape of the dots together looks like the corner and the top right side of a piece of paper. So sometimes uh, people that I'm working with will memorize that the D is the upper right hand corner of a page and they'll just know that those dots form that shape. This is the letter E. Um, it's dots one and five. It is uh, the fifth letter in the alphabet, so it has a dot five. Sometimes people confuse the letters I and E. I will show you another video with a variety of different strategies to differentiate between I and E later. But between E and I, E comes first, and it's the fifth letter of the alphabet, so it's dots one and five. This is the letter F. It's also a corner letter. It is the top left-hand corner, if you're looking at a page. It is dots one, two, and four. I personally know F because it kind of looks like you're writing an F when you're starting at that um, top right side of the letter and you're going to turn write that curve before the straight line, or if you're writing a capital F, that straight line and then down, that's how I personally remember the letter F when I'm feeling it. It feels to me like an F. This is the letter G. It starts one, two, four, and five. I have had some people learn G by uh, making a circle around those the square dots the square of dots one two four and five and then just pretending like the person didn't finish the hook at the bottom of the letter G this is the letter H it is also a corner letter it would be the bottom left corner letter it's dots one two and five for myself uh, the letter H looks like I'm writing an H the straight line down and then I go back to the dot two to form the hump and then dot five for that straight line down on the other side. To me, the letter H looks like a lowercase h. This is the letter I. It's, like I said before, often confused with E, but I comes second, so it has a dot two, and then it goes four. 
I've had some students learn the letter I by thinking about how they want to grow up. So I slides up as they age, they get taller like the I does, reading from left to right. This is the letter J. It's the last of the corner letters. It's the bottom right hand side of a page. It's dots two, four, and five. For me, again, visually, the letter J looks like a J to me. Um, it has that hook down at the bottom. I have had some students learn J by doing the sign language for J, the sign in their right hand with the J in their pinky fingers. It feels kind of like the, the hook for the J. This is the letter K. It starts one and three. It's got that big old space in the middle. L is another super easy letter. It looks like an L. It's dots one, two, and three, a straight line down or a line of dots going down like the lowercase L. And those are the tips. Here we go. I have the L, one, two, and three. And the last letter when you're going by the first half and second half is the letter M. Um, for me and for my students, sometimes we relate uh, some maybe haste when writing words or laziness when writing letters to help us our, my dual media students learn the, the letters of the alphabet. So here's an M. It's that's one, three, and four. If someone was being lazy when writing or maybe they weren't putting forth all of their effort, you might um, have someone start to write the letter M but then get distracted and stop writing it. So this works for some of my students. It doesn't work for others. It didn't work for me personally, but the student who came up with this idea mastered M all by herself. She decided she liked it and went with it. So this is a visual here on the screen of the letter M and the dots one, three, and four yellow. And that's just how she memorized the letter M. So like I said at the beginning of the video, everybody is going to develop their own unique strategy for learning the letters. And some things are going to work for you that work don't work for other people and vice versa. So just practice with your letters as much as you can and check in with other people who know Braille and go back and forth from print to braille and braille to print and write sentences and then check it and just come up with some strategies. If you have something else that has helped you learn some of the letters in the first half of the alphabet, feel free to comment in the section below the video. Let us know what works for you. Uh, I'm passionate about braille, braille, passionate about braille literacy and I just want to make it accessible to everybody so that more and more people can start using braille and we can help create a braille rich environment for all of our students and adults and individuals who need to know braille in order to read. Thank you.